this project is based um, around um, a radio program called Discovering Music, which goes um, um, out on Radio 3 on Sunday afternoons. And around that program, um, I was asked if I would create um, uh, an education learning project um, for people that took them on a journey of discovery as well, so that they, they too were looking at the same piece of repertoire that we were, but looking at it in a way that they might make their own piece out of it. And in five days, from literally nothing, uh, they created um, a music dance piece um, that reflected their take on John Tavner's Protecting Veil. For me, it, it's very important the quality of music making. And music making is different from music in the sense that music can be a composition. It could be something that one man, one woman goes, they write down in a room somewhere and they give everyone else pieces of paper to play the music from. That's the music. The music making is the kind of the kind of life, the soul, the spirit that a group of musicians bring to the piece of music. One of the really interesting things about this week is working with Matthew Barley. He has his own way of doing things, which is, I think, I've learnt a lot from this week. I think he, he has a, a very relaxed style. And the upshot of that is that nobody ever feels worried about anything. I think that's so important in music that the less worried you are about what you're doing, the better it's going to be. And he has this sense of calm. And added to that, a sense of fun. And that's where the games come in. So the quality of music making is what's really important in these projects. And the exercises I do, names, sometimes a bit of theatre stuff, getting shout out things and, and reaction games and stuff like that. What's important about that is it gets everybody to work together as a group and to trust each other. And when you trust in a group, then you can feel safe. When you feel safe, you can take creative risks. When you can take creative risks, then you can create music. So I'm hoping we're going to get a fusion of work and something that really sits well together. You know, it's, um, it's the brass orchestra, and that's a very particular sound. So once we start getting a few recordings next week, then I'll be able to. I just want to make work that sits really well side by side. It's very challenging for the students. I want them to move in a different way. We're doing a lot of kind of fast floor work where we have to use knee pads. So I wanted to kind of challenge them, and just in terms of the audience, so they can come and listen to this new piece of music, but also have something really stimulating to watch while they're listening. things that I never thought I'd have been able to do like Steve pushed us so much that we started on a level at the start of the year and we were sort of moving on that level and then when we worked with Steve and Darren we were put in a totally different place and we had to live up to those expectations that he had for us it made me feel better about myself and about the whole class because we all stepped up to what we needed to do and it was just really nice to see everybody grow in such a way over two weeks. Part of the project obviously is the fact that it's a collaboration between music and dance and that's something that I haven't worked on before uh, and I think it was quite new to everybody here and it's thrown up a few interesting scenarios and I think we've all learnt a lot from that. One of the things about dance is that by necessity if you've got a group of dancers it has to be structured and so we've had to learn as musicians that we need to be more flexible than the dancers. It's a different experience to being in a class and having the music there and just dancing to it 
as a dancer we work with music all the time and we have to have a rhythm but because the musicians were exploring as well we had to hold back and just have to go with the flow of what they did there was a piece a section in it that was very very difficult because the counts the musicians were playing were different to the counts that we were dancing to and so it was very difficult to try and keep in time when the rhythm you get in from somewhere else is totally different the dancers are doing a fantastic job and i think of today we're about halfway through the week this is where we begin to bring the two elements of music and dance together and that's going to be really exciting because we've both created a lot of material a lot of music a lot of dance and we've been keeping in touch about sections speeds lengths and stuff like that but we're going to start to bring it all together today this work will only work if it is the product of all concerned that it is collectively owned by everyone in the room of course all music making should be about that music making should never be about doing what you're told by someone else and after all if you look at the score of as matthew was saying a beethoven symphony or, or any great piece of music that's only a starting point the dots on the page are a code the music happens when you actually make something with those dots and so that's what's happening all the time in this room and everyone will be able to stand up on friday night with a real sense of ownership of what's taking place Great, I think, to bring the BBC Philharmonic um, closer to an establishment like this, um, especially as we are hopefully going to ha have more links with, with this place in the future. I think it's very good for the students because, uh, particularly the music um, students, um, they're, they're learning an awful lot about how to, to deal with these kind of situations. And also, I think they're learning a lot of techniques from Matthew Barley um, that they'll be able to use in the future. Well, our first session we stood in a, in a quite a big circle with um, Matthew leading. He said that we were, well the, well, the goal of the week was to have composed a piece of music and perform it. Uh, well, my first thought was, how are we going to do that? Because all my sort of uh, career of playing, I've been seeing composing as sitting at a desk with a piano, trying to find out what works and what doesn't work. I'm very impressed with the students. It's absolutely wonderful on so many levels as well because they're, they're fantastic to work with just in the sense of discipline. I mean, you could have 37 people in a room and it could be absolute hell, chaos all day. Because, you know, it takes a lot of discipline to work in this kind of situation. They're obviously used to working in a disciplined situation. So the, just little things like every time we stop playing and I want to say something, they're all quiet. We didn't know what to expect from the Solfa students because they're brass band players and it's a slightly different world from ours but it's just as disciplined and I suppose in a way we kind of expected that we would come up against dis that barrier that creative stuff doesn't come so easily from someone who's extremely disciplined but that wasn't a problem at all they were absolutely amazing the first thing is that they're such good players they play they make a beautiful sound they've got the technique is there and they play beautifully in tune I learned an awful lot um, I learned that music can come from basically anything you don't have to have some massive idea in your head about a big story behind music. It can just sort of come from basically anything. And um, it was also so healthy for us as a group to, to work together, the entire band, because um, we learned an awful lot, not just about each other, but also in the ways of, of ma making music together. I mean, they're brimming full of ideas. I mean, where Matthew is so good is at uh, giving people their head. He just doesn't, he doesn't just say, right, you do this, you do that. It's more, what would you like to do? And then obviously Matthew's role is to sort of shape it and, and pull it into some kind of, you know, coherent whole. And he's very good at doing that. And the students are responding brilliantly well, I think.
I think Salford have, have been fantastic. I mean, they've really entered into a partnership every step of the way with the BBC. So, um, you know, the facilities feel great. There's a huge warmth, there's heart to this place, even to this very room. You know, very often you play in a room or a hall of whatever sort or size, and it doesn't have a particularly good energy. And this room just does. Um, I know it sounds a bit hippie-ish to say so. It was definitely worth it. There were difficult times, but it was also kind of easy to just focus inward and be very into yourself as a dancer and the people around you. Like, you just totally got lost in the movement and we all did things wrong, but it didn't really matter at the time because we'd worked so hard and just being there and doing it and living what we'd been waiting to do for two weeks was just amazing. And afterwards it was kind of upsetting, but like exhilarating that we'd done it. If we've learnt one thing or gained one thing during the course of the week, it's a kind of insight into the joy of music making. Can't put it any straighter than that. And music can seem like hard work. It is. You have to practice. You've got to work at the practice. You've got to learn the theory. But you should never lose sight of the fact that it's creative. I'm uh, very, very satisfied with what we did. The first day I didn't really quite know what to expect. Um, and when we walked away from it, I could look back at it and say that, well, we basically made this half an hour's worth of music in one week, and um, we could basically be very proud of it because, the, because it was something that we'd done together. My hope w would be that this kind of a project gives them a lot of kind of creative ammunition for their lives. It gives them a lot of insights into different ways of making music, different ways of working in groups, different ways of um, composing with groups of people and taking that through to performance. Our work um, in the community um, is important to us because it is about um, a symphony orchestra which may be seen by uh, many as being a rather arcane, out-of-date um, organisation or collection of people. Um, it's about kind of reinstating um, their relevance really, making connections, bringing people into um, our world and um, bringing their world into ours, um, a real partnership. The single most important benefit I would hope that uh, any student would take away from this enterprise is remembering what happens when you get away from the notes. Most of these brilliant young musicians have grown up through a tradition of learning to interpret and to play to their best, of ab their best ability a piece of music which may be hundreds of years old or maybe very recently composed. This is about kind of going beyond that. It's looking with a microscope at what real music making is all about. Now that might be about playing a piece of Bach, it might be about trying to reinterpret a piece by Radiohead. It's about what you make of it, what you personally express through that music. That's all that's important, that's all any audience is ever going to want to hear. So I hope that's the number one lesson that people take away. Just a kind of a broadening of the mind and a sense that in a way, anything is possible.